And so our readings today are three selections from the writings of Emanuel Swedenborg. First, Secrets of Heaven, number 6637, passage two. It should also be realized that everyone who leads a good life in charity and faith is a church and is a kingdom of the Lord. He or she is for that reason also called a temple and a house of God too. Those who are churches individually, no matter how remote from one another they may be, constitute one church collectively. From the New Jerusalem and its Heavenly Doctrines, number one. Anyone reading Revelation 21 might only understand it in its literal sense. That is, that the sky and the earth will perish and a new heaven will come into existence. The holy city Jerusalem will come down upon a new earth and will agree in its measurements with the description. But the angels understand these words quite differently. They understand spiritually what human beings understand naturally. And from Revelation unveiled number 905. And the city is laid out four square, means the justice in it. Four square or square means what is just, because a square has four sides, and the four sides face the four quarters, and giving equal attention to the four quarters is seeing everything fairly. The city was laid out four square so that its length and breadth were equal. Length means the good dimension of that church, while breadth means its true dimension. And when what is good and what is true are equal, then that is just. So we will begin our Lectio Divina practice together right now. So Lectio Divina is an ancient practice of meditative scripture reading. And so the way this one is structured today, I have a reading from the book of Isaiah, and that will be repeated three times, but it's followed by different readings from the book of Revelation that describe this vision that we've been talking about, the new Jerusalem coming down from heaven. So we'll do three rounds one with Isaiah and one each with a different reading from Revelation. At the end, we'll have a short pause and a kind of closing. And then we'll segue straight into some reflection music. And that will be time for you to take a moment to return here from your meditative state into this place to uh, open your eyes as you feel ready and to join us back ready for our time of closing prayer. So as we do this practice, I do invite you to just let the words settle in your consciousness and see what rises up for you for contemplation today. So I think we are ready to begin. So find a comfortable seat where you uh, can settle, and I invite you to close your eyes. Isaiah chapter 42, verses five through nine. This is what God the Lord says, the creator of the heavens who stretches them out who spreads out the earth with all that springs from it, who gives breath to its people and life to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your hand. I will keep you and will make you to be a covenant for the people and a light for the Gentiles, to open eyes that are blind, to free captives from prison, and to release from the dungeon those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not yield my glory to another or my praise to idols. See, the former things have taken place and new things I declare. Before they spring into being, I announce them to you.
from the book of Revelation chapter 21. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, look, God's dwelling place is now among the people and he will dwell with them. They will be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. This is what God the Lord says, the creator of the heavens who stretches them out, who spreads out the earth with all that springs from it, who gives breath to its people and life to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your hand. I will keep you and I will make you to be a covenant for the people and a light for the Gentiles to open eyes that are blind, to free captives from prison, and to release from the dungeon those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not yield my glory to another or my praise to idols. See, the former things have taken place and new things I declare. Before they spring into being, I announce them to you. And he carried me away in the spirit to a mountain great and high and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. I did not see a temple in the city because the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it for the glory of God gives it light and the Lamb is its lamp. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their splendor into it. On no day will its gates ever be shut, for there will be no night there. The glory and honor of the nations will be brought into it. This is what God the Lord says, the creator of the heavens who stretches them out, who spreads out the earth with all that springs from it, who gives breath to its people and life to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your hand. I will keep you and will make you to be a covenant for the people and a light for the Gentiles to open eyes that are blind, to free captives from prison, 
and to release from the dungeon those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not yield my glory to another or my praise to idols. See, the former things have taken place and new things I declare. Before they spring into being, I announce them to you. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb down the middle of the great street of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing 12 crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. No longer will there be any curse. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city, and his servants will serve him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for the Lord God will give them light, and they will reign forever and ever. And the spirit and the bride say, come. And let the one who hears say, come. Let the one who is thirsty come. And let the one who wishes to take the free gift of the water of life. He who testifies to these things says, yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Jesus.